I'm playing around a little bit with this signal generator in particularly I'm gonna see if I can use that as a transmitter so I found a spot on six meters because this uh, signal generator only goes up to 60 Hertz so I went out into the ham frequency uh, at 50.5 and we chose a sine wave uh, amplitude about 0.1 watts uh, volts that's fairly small that I use for feeding directly into my uh, spectrum anal oscilloscope I mean to look at the signal and that's not quite what we're gonna do now though what we're gonna do is see if we can transmit so I have the output coax right here to a short little whip that's obviously not resonant but we're just gonna deal with that <coughs> as is um, so I went ahead and have a radio here also with a small little whip right next on the other side of the room so we boost up the sound so if we turn on the signal you definitely heard the noise going down and if we look at the radio there we have now an S9 so if I turn that off again it drops down to S6 so now it's on again and that's just basically a carrier a sine wave carrier that we are transmitting that's pretty boring so what we're going to do now is um, over at channel 2 I set it up to be at 800 Hertz that's an audible frequency range and then you go to mode and choose AM right there top button you click and the source needs to be channel 2 and so channel 2 is the uh, 800 Hertz that we have here and that's being transmitted as soon as you touch any of the channels unfortunately it goes out so you can't go back to channel 2 and change the frequency here live uh, that's kind of sucky but we can go ahead and put it to 1 kilohertz and you should hear that it's a higher tone perfect so the next thing is how about FM so we're gonna go ahead and switch the source over to uh, no, the mode over to FM and then right here on the radio also FM <coughs> and we definitely have a much better noise ratio there <laughs> FM doesn't have so much QRM in the background so when you turn it on it gets quiet because we have a carrier again right here <laughs> actually we don't see a carrier but when we go into mode then we hear it I'm surprised that it doesn't show a signal anything on the signal meter so that's kind of a sucky transmitter so what we're gonna do now is let's go back to uh, AM and let's stop transmitting so in the mode section there is also the external VOC in and if you look at the back of right at the back here you see that coax connector here is zero v oh, VCO in from 0 to 5 volt, so maximum 5 volt. Um, what I have 
hooked up right here is just some Jimmy rigged um, voice recorder here so I can send some voice unfortunately the output signal isn't strong enough it would be nice to get all the way up to 5 volt on that so if you go ahead oh um, here 9 am that's why yeah so we on am and I switch the source to external out that something is being transmitted but it's really really horrible <laughs> I probably need an amplifier behind there so let's go over to FM and put on so if I switch over to channel 2 we hear our nice beep again so let's switch over to external again up the volume so that really came through the not the sound uh, again, not very strong because it's I don't know what the phone check headphone check is from a device like probably just three volts or something really weak and that signal generator who knows what kind of logic it has inside of it to handle the audio although the quality on FM was really good. It was nice and clear it was just a little bit quiet so if you're in a pinch you have a signal generator you can have a transmitter and of course be sure that you're licensed uh, to transmit on the frequencies that you're transmitting on